Hello all, this is George with Oak Studios and this is the first episode of a series called How to Make a 3D Animated Short Film. And today I'm going to talk about story and script structure and how it is being used for a short film, The Robot and the Ant. Stories can come from anywhere at any time. Whenever you have an idea, write it down. I usually use my phone to write down the ideas as they come and develop them fully later. What gave me the idea for the robot in the ant was observing people go to work every day and sit next to their coworkers, yet not know anything about them. There's a whole world next to them, and they don't even know. Once you have an idea for a story, you want to structure it in a way that makes sense to the viewer. For that, we are going to use a three-act structure. Act one is when the character and his world is introduced. In this case, our robot. The robot lives in a drab and cold world and works in a factory. One day, however, he sees a little ant. This is called the inciting incident. That is, something happens to the character that forces him to make a decision to want something. In this case, he decides to pursue the ant to learn more about it. After he made his decision to pursue the ant, we enter Act 2. It's an act two where the character faces all the obstacles to the achievement of his goal, and it is usually the longest part of a story. In this case, the robot pursues the ant, but the ant enters into a crack on the floor. Repair robots arrive and seal the breach. Disappointed, the robot starts to walk back to the factory when he spots another ant. He follows it until it enters another crack in the floor. Before the repair robots arrive, the robot opens the tile and finds a tunnel. He goes down the tunnel and discovers an underground forest world where the ants live. But the repair robots discover the crack and close the breach, sealing the robot inside. A robot, however, manages to exit the underground world by digging his way into his home. Next, we see the robot at the factory. At the end of his workday, he returns home and there enters the underground forest to be next to the ants. That is the climax of the film, when the robot achieved his goal. After the climax, Act 3 begins, and is where all the final elements of a story are brought together, and shows what happens after the character achieves his goal. In this case, because it is a short film, it's simply a shot of the robot sleeping at night in the underground forest, while the world above remains the same. To review, Act 1 is when the character and his world are introduced. Then something happens to that character, called the inciting incident, that forces the character to make a decision to want something. Act 2 is usually the longest part of a story, and it is about all the obstacles the character faces until he achieves what he wants, called the climax. Act 3 is after the climax, when all the loose story elements are concluded, and it is revealed what happens to the character after he achieved his goal. I hope you learned something that you can apply to your own films, and it is the process that was used to create the story for the Robot in the Ant short film. Head over to the Robot in the Ant website for more information, and be sure to subscribe for updates. Thank you for watching.